AI integration in military drones. Join me as I dive into the world of military drones and put their AI targeting capabilities to the test. Can I outsmart the tech? Did you know that the reliance on AI in military operations has increased by nearly 50% in the past decade? Let's explore why this is happening and what it means for the future of warfare. Nowadays, wars are fought intelligently using advanced technology, aiming to minimize casualties and risks. Military drones have become one of the most powerful, precise, and safe tools for the world's strongest armies, enabling them to carry out global missions successfully and without fatalities. These drones are employed in situations where manned flights would be too risky or complex, providing troops with constant 24-7 surveillance and sending real-time images from the battlefield. These unmanned aerial vehicles, controlled by pilots miles away, are capable of performing reconnaissance, combat, and support functions in the most dangerous battles. Currently nearly 100 countries have military drones in their inventory, radically changing the way wars are fought. The use of military drones is not a secret. For decades they have been used to attack enemy soldiers and extremists. However over time these drones have become more lethal and intelligent performing multiple functions in the military realm. Their primary use in war zones is reconnaissance of unknown areas and buildings, tracking the enemy, and protecting friendly forces. They are also crucial in searching for lost or injured soldiers, providing real-time views of the situation, which allows commanders to make better resource allocation decisions. Before diving into drones, it's important to understand their basic classification. Military drones are generally classified based on their weight, range, speed, and specific capabilities. UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles represent any aircraft that does not require a pilot on board to operate, though the term often refers to unarmed drones performing reconnaissance and surveillance missions. On the other hand, UCAVs, or unmanned combat aerial vehicles, are armed predators that carry out guided attacks under human control with various levels of autonomy. The UAS, or unmanned aerial system, is a system that includes the UAV, ground control terminals, remote video terminals, and other logistical equipment necessary for effective drone operation. A UAS can include multiple UAVs and control units. Within the drone classification, there are several categories. First, we have male or medium altitude long endurance drones. They reach altitudes of 10,000 to 30,000 feet and can fly for over 12 hours. Examples include the Reaper and its predecessor, the Predator. Next, we have hail or high altitude long endurance drones. These drones can fly for one or two days and reach altitudes above 60,000 feet, making them the most expensive on the market. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is one of the most well-known in this category. Then, there are mini drones, weighing less than 23 kilograms. They are used for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions. Examples include the RQ-11 Raven and the Fulmar drone. Micro drones are small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, allowing each soldier to have their own drone for exploring dangerous areas. An example is the Black Hornet, which weighs only 30 grams. Finally, we have kamikaze drones, small in size and loaded with explosives, designed for one-way attack missions, crashing into the target. An example is the Israeli Harrop drone. Now let's delve into two of the most famous and widely produced drones today, starting with the RQ-1 Predator. The Predator is a reconnaissance drone with a simple and lightweight design that allows it to carry a payload of up to 240 kilograms. Thanks to its large fuel tank and reduced weight, it can cover long distances without the need for refueling, which is a significant advantage for reconnaissance missions. The RQ-1 Predator can stay in the air for up to 24 hours, monitoring enemy positions with sophisticated surveillance equipment that works day and night, even in adverse conditions like fog. This drone provides real-time images of enemy positions to a command post, allowing commanders to make quick and informed decisions about troop deployment and assessing enemy capabilities. Its main advantage is that it provides all the benefits of a reconnaissance flight without exposing the pilot to a hostile environment. However, drones like the MQ-9 Reaper go beyond reconnaissance and are designed to fight in the battlefield. The Reaper is armed with multiple air-to-air AIM-92 Stinger rockets and up to 14 air-to-ground AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. It can reach speeds of up to 300 km per hour and features an advanced target acquisition system. 
including a laser or infrared ray located in the nose of the aircraft. This system allows the calculation of variables such as wind speed and direction to ensure an effective shot. Once a target is identified and painted, the Reaper can launch its missiles to destroy it, whether it be enemy aircraft or ground forces. Its effectiveness was demonstrated on October 28, 2007, when it successfully launched a Hellfire missile against insurgents in Afghanistan. Since then, Reapers have accumulated over 10,000 flight hours, contributing to the capture of more than 250 drug traffickers. The MQ-9 Reaper was created by General Atomics and was initially designed for use by the U.S. Air Force and Navy, although it has also been sold to countries such as the United Kingdom, Spain, France, and the Netherlands. Acquiring a Reaper costs over $16 million, and the United States operates around 100 of these drones through various agencies. In addition to the mentioned drones, the U.S. military deploys other UAVs such as the RQ-2 Pioneer, the RQ-3 Dark Star, and the RQ-5 Hunter, which have been used in reconnaissance missions since the 1990s. With advancements in technology, the trend in warfare seems to be shifting towards missions carried out by automated warriors where human controllers operate safely from remote bases, sending routes and coordinates via satellite connections. It is possible for a pilot at a base in Las Vegas to be engaging Afghan extremists over 12,000 kilometers away. However, this new form of warfare has had unexpected effects. Initial studies suggest that drone pilots experience mental health issues at the same rate as those involved in direct combat, exhibiting levels of anxiety, severe stress, and moral injury. Additionally, the cost per hour of flight for these drones varies, with systems like the Global Hawk costing up to $15,000 per hour and a price of $131 million per unit. In 2019, the U.S. Department of Defense requested approximately $9.39 billion for drones and related technologies. Globally, more than 100 countries possess combat drones, with at least 21,000 UAVs in operation, though only nine countries acknowledge having armed drones. Powers such as China, the United States, Russia, and Israel have already deployed their drone fleets in military operations or aerial demonstrations. China has impressed the world by surpassing the number of operational drones of the U.S. in a short period. Its most famous drone, the CH-5 Rainbow, is capable of intercepting electronic signals and monitoring high-value targets such as command stations and missile launch bases. The impact of drones in combat was demonstrated on September 14, 2019, when Houthi militias from Yemen, supported by Iran, attacked oil facilities in Saudi Arabia affecting the global economy by driving up oil prices. It is expected that in the future, military drones will continue to improve in size, weight, stealth, flight duration, and combat capabilities, playing a crucial role in resolving future conflicts. The most remarkable developments are yet to be seen. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.